In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate the pH of a weak base um, if we know its initial concentration. Our first example is what is the pH of a 0.1 mole per liter ammonia solution? So just as with a weak acid question, our first step in a weak base uh, pH calculation will be writing down the reaction with water. So ammonia is NH3. And when it reacts with water, it's going to accept a proton. So it's going to form its conjugate acid, which is ammonium. And water will donate a proton to form its conjugate base, which is hydroxide. Once again, we'll write an ice table down the side. We can start to fill in this ice table. So we know that we have 0 0.100 moles per liter ammonia. And just as with the weak acid, we're not going to count water, and we'll start with zero moles per liter of our two products. Our next step will be to complete the rest of the ice table using X's for our unknowns. For a weak base, unlike for a weak acid, we're not going to use Ka, we're going to use Kb. So Kb is our base ionization constant. So we'll have NH4+. Plus. So it's the same thing as any equilibrium constant, products raised to their coefficients over reactants. The only difference is this is not found in our table. So we actually have to use Ka to calculate Kb. And we want to use the Ka of the conjugate acid. So Kb is calculated using the formula Kb equals Kw over Ka. So Kw at 25 degrees Celsius is 1 times 10 to the negative 14. Ka for ammonium is 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10. So that's going to give us a Kb value of 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. So we can plug our numbers now into our Kb expression. So we'll have x squared on the top from our products and 0 0.1 minus x on the bottom. We want to simplify this, so we're going to do the same test we did with our weak acids, where we'll take the initial concentration of the base, so 0.1, and divide it by our Kb value, so 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. This is going to be greater than 1,000, so we can say that 0 0.1 minus x is approximately equal to 0 0.1. That allows us to simplify this expression significantly. So 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 equals x squared over 0 0.1. And we want to solve for x because x is the concentration of hydroxide. So x or our concentration of hydroxide equals the square root of our Kb value, 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, times our initial base concentration, 0.1. And we get 1 point, and we get 3 sig dig, so 1.34 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per liter. From here we need to solve for pH. So we have two possible ways we can do this. The first way is to take our OH, find hydronium using Kw, and then find pH. Uh, I'm not going to do this way. I'm going to do the a little bit the other way which is a little bit simpler. Um, but if you want to use the Kw, just go back to the pH video and watch that. 
So I'm going to go from hydroxide to hydro uh, to POH using negative log. So POH equals negative log of hydroxide. So negative log of 1.34 times 10 to the minus 3. And our POH is 2.874. We get three decimal places because we have three significant digits in our uh, concentration. pH at 25 degrees is 14 minus pOH. So is 14 minus 2.874. And our pH is 11.2, oh sorry, 11.126. So when you're doing these questions, the big thing that is often a mistake is most students will forget to do this final step. They'll get to this concentration and they'll solve for pOH and they'll put that in as their pH. Really think about what it should be. This is a base, so our pH of our final solution should be above 7. So just double check that your answer really makes sense for what you're solving for. Our second example is what is the pH of a 0.1 mole per liter solution of sodium hydrogen phosphate? So sodium hydrogen phosphate is an ionic compound, so we first need to write the dissociation equation for sodium hydrogen phosphate. So that will be Na2HPO4. That will dissociate into sodium and hydrogen phosphate. Sodium is a spectator, so we won't use it in our reaction. Hydrogen phosphate is amphiprotic. If you go back and watch the amphiprotic video, uh, there's an explanation about how to decide if something will act as an acid or a base. But for this species, our Kb is higher than our Ka, so it's going to be act as a base in water. All right, so now that we know it's a base, we're going to write our reaction with water to show that. So HPO42- is going to accept a proton from water. To form H2PO4 and hydroxide. So our initial concentration is 0 0.1. We know we don't include water. And we have 0 of both of our products. So we'll represent our change as x again. OK, so just like our last example, we're going to set up our Kb expression now. So our Kb will equal dihydrogen phosphate. times hydroxide divided by hydrogen phosphate. To calculate Kb, we need to use the Ka of dihydrogen phosphate. So a really common mistake that we see made is uh, students use the Ka of the amphiprotic species we're dealing with to find the Kb. We need to use the Ka of the conjugate acid. So our Kb calculation will be the Kw over Ka, and it's the Ka of H2PO4. So we want to find um, our base, we want to find this species in the base column and use the acid in that column, the Ka of the acid. Okay, so uh, Kw is 1 times 10 to the negative 14 and the Ka of H2PO4 dihydrogen phosphate is 6.2 times 10 to the negative 8. 
giving us a KB value of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 7. So now we're going to fill in the rest of this expression with the numbers we know. Once again, we end up with that pesky quadratic. So we're going to use our um, approximation to double check that we can get rid of it. So the initial, initial concentration of our base, 0.1, divided by KB, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 7. And we get 6.2 times 10 to the negative, or to the 5. This is much, much bigger than 1,000. So we can say that 0 0.1 minus x is approximately equal to 0.1. So 1.6 times 10 to the negative 7 equals x squared over 0 0.1. And just as a reminder, that x is equal to the concentration of hydroxide. So to solve for x, slash our hydroxide concentration. We will do the square root of our Kb times the initial uh, base concentration. And we get 1.27 times 10 to the negative 4 molar for our hydroxide concentration. Uh, this time I'm going to go through hydronium just so you see both both ways to do this. So hydronium concentration will equal Kw over the hydroxide ion concentration. So 1 times 10 to the negative 14 over 1.27 times 10 to the negative 4. We get a hydronium ion concentration of 7.87 times 10 to the negative 11. And we can use that to find our pH. and we get 10.104 as our pH.